Hello everyone, my name is Kane Quach. Uh, when I was getting back to learning about character design from an online course after I finished all the lessons I take, I had to assign myself into designing my own character. I'm not a good artist. I sometimes felt like I have forgotten some of the things I learned to paint my own illustrations. But I wanted to get into animation, production design, and create my own artwork. I had to keep trying working hard and move on with my life. If I'm going to be a character designer, I need to learn the key elements of design an appealing character. I know storyteller. I don't think I know how to write a story, but I dream of creating my own animated feature film like Disney movies in the 1990s. For a long time, I imagined my own version, my own take on a fairy tale story. Little Red Riding Hood. You probably heard stories about the, the Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf, where the little girl in a red hood being attacked by a scary wolf. It's a nice story, but I wanted to create my own version of Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. Probably not everyone's interest, but I like my own concept of it. So my version of designing the Red Riding Hood She's not exactly little. She's grown to be somewhat near to adult age, but still young. I have never drawn humans before. I'm really bad. I have tried learning to draw the human anatomy. It was difficult, and you had to understand the human anatomy. When I was drawing the character, I don't necessarily worry about the anatomy much because the design is more simplified in the in the cartoon. To get the to get the design right, I had to look into the story of Red Riding Hood and try to design the character based off from the story. I made her design a little different because I want to create my own version of Red Riding Hood, so I had to do a small bit of research of her costume and, and props. I was going for a low-class clothing from the Victorian era. I had to go through finding the right clothing and adjusting her by design uh, so everyone can see that she's a young girl I, I know that she just she's just like any other Disney princesses but I wanted to try to make her look stand out I don't want I don't want her to look like Belle from Beauty and the Beast on my take on Red Riding Hood she's a, she's a young aspiring baker like her grandmother and she dreams of opening her own bakery in London so my take on the big bad wolf, he's not actually a bad character. I mean, he's not an antagonist of the story. He's not even a big in size. Wolves are my favorite animal, and I have drawn lots of wolves when I was learning to draw animals. I keep hearing stories in that, that, that keep telling that wolves are vicious creatures. For me, I don't like how they make wolves the villains of the story. So my take on the wolf, he's not a villain and really not like any other wolves in the wild. The, the wolf has an anthropomorphic design. He can walk on two legs, but his legs, his legs can stand on his toes. I wanted, I wanted the uh, wolf to look young, a little goofy and not strong looking. I had to find the right design for him, showing that he is not the villain of the story and more of a friend. Uh, before I design the wolf, I had to first learn and understand the anatomy of a real wolf. And you'll be surprised how similar our anatomy is to the dogs. I had to give him some clothing, so I had to look up for poor or working low class clothing in Victorian era, showing that he's that he is looked down upon by the world. My take on the wolf is that he's not the villain in the story. He's just a homeless young wolf who is trying to survive. Well, this is my own design of Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. It was fun to create my own design of a character, but it can be difficult to get the design right for a story. You had to post your character cl clearly and appealing. Th there's a lot more I could talk about. I have one more design I want to show you. And I wanted to draw some more artwork about these characters, so there will be more. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.